They know you. Yes, but you may not know this. What you like, where you shop, how much you shop, and your payment patterns too. Your banks know you, which is why they make offers like pre-approved loans or an increase in credit limits that you simply cannot refuse. These are the terrifying Mumbai floods which held India's commercial hub to ransom. The swirling waters devastated everything in sight. In this vast human tragedy and chaos, there were still many companies that hummed with activity and for whom it was business as usual. What you have just come across are basically two different applications of infrastructure management services and technologies. The note from your credit card company and support from disaster recovery centers during natural calamities have all been made possible by giant IT networks that work unseen in the background. Thousands of servers, software, communications equipment and applications that seamlessly connect to one another and enable users to stay in touch with family, friends and business contacts. Now let me explain how it all happens in real time. In the case of your bank increasing the credit limit, it's because there is a huge amount of data stored about what you as a customer do on your website and how you transact. This information is being intelligently analyzed to decipher the kind of bigger investments you're likely to make next. Ensuring uptime during disasters like Mumbai floods was possible because companies had planned for these disasters and could ensure the availability of their IT infrastructure and applications. With their disaster recovery strategies in place, they were able to shift their entire workload of applications in real time to locations that were not impacted by the disaster and continue to support their global customers without missing a beat. Supporting these mammoth networks and immense data centers, managing their servers, storage, databases, operations including security needs, desktops and help desk facilities are a new brand set of services called Remote Infrastructure Management or RIMS. And RIMS is not just about the technology but the specialized people that run these services. There is a high level of specialization required for these kind of jobs. It's exactly like saying, would you want to fly in an aircraft where the pilot is not certified? Of course not. Exactly, nobody would want to risk their real-time mission-critical application infrastructure to people who do not know or are not certified to handle it. The world is hungry for professionals in this area. The world is hungry for infrastructure management professionals who can manage this humongous IT infrastructure world over through remote infrastructure management. The question is, are you hungry? Are you hungry to be a part of this massive professionals who are going to join this industry and take care of the IT infrastructure? Are you hungry to be one of the 1.1 million people who are going to join this industry by 2012? If the answer is yes, then there is no other place to go to than NIIT. The power-packed Global Net Plus program brings learners training and experience on popular and cutting-edge technology platforms from Microsoft, Sun, Cisco, CompTIA, EMC and Element K. Students have the opportunity to learn from world-class WBD leading to value adds in the area of security project, quality and risk management. NIT's curriculum on infrastructure management services is a leading curriculum which combines the best of the industry NIT works with the leading technology companies, all of them number one in their respective domains, to design a curricula which makes sense to the student as well as the industry for recruiters because they get ready-made skills. NIT today partners with Microsoft, the number one on operating platforms, Cisco, the number one on networking, EMC, the number one on storage, Sun, the number one on open source server platforms, as well as CompTIA, the number one in open certifications. This course has been designed according to the demands of market. I was pretty much comfortable on the day one on my first job. I handle all of the plumbing of the company's computers and connecting offices with the T1 lines and configuring all internal systems such as routers and firewalls. 
The NIIT curriculum addressing the infrastructure management services industry actually focuses on all three aspects in a very large way. At the very base level, the curriculum actually creates skilled professionals for the services industry, the support services portion of it. And therefore, people who pass out of the very first semester of our program get ready to join the support services industry. People are equipped here for supporting users and therefore there are uh, qualified and skilled on skills like A plus for desktop support and network plus for supporting networking as well as uh, a credential which is the desktop support technician credential basically supporting operating systems, office applications and the likes. At the next level people are equipped to support and work in IDCs or internet data centers and therefore they are equipped with uh, skills which are server management, storage management, security management and uh, the ability to work, configure, troubleshoot, server and storage infrastructure. At the third level, the curriculum prepares people to uh, join the, uh, the entire industry around networking and telecom and people are skilled here for networking skills both at the base level and advanced level so that they are able to configure, troubleshoot, architect, network solutions across enterprises. The NIIT curriculum prepares people for base knowledge of networking where they understand protocols, they understand models and they understand the various aspects of networking. In addition, it allows people to gain hands-on experience and handle the devices and softwares which manage the networks including routers, switches and firewalls. NIT has a very unique approach towards conducting these trainings. Not only do we provide technical inputs and conceptual inputs to the students, we also allow them to work on remote infrastructure through the state-of-the-art virtual lab infrastructure created by NIT. With this infrastructure, students are allowed or students are actually exposed to working on infrastructure which is lying at a remote location and therefore understanding how to configure it when they are not on site. This exposure allows students to actually get uh, skilled on real life applications of the know-how because they are in real time allowed to learn on the platform which they would be working on in future. It also allows students to develop troubleshooting skills when they are not on site or in front of infrastructure. Whatever I learn in NIT, I'm confident of myself. I can really get into a good job. Networking was just a word for me. Now, after two semesters, it's a promising career. In the city, we have a hardware course. In the city, we have a course. In the city, we have a technical knowledge. We have a technical knowledge.